I'm from um, Kiel in Schleswig-Holstein. It's uh, north of Hamburg. And yeah. My name is Giovanna Waldner. I'm from Bremen, which is uh, north from Hamburg. Um, I'm studying in Kiel, which is further north. And um, yeah, I study English mm -hmm. studies and American studies, as well as history. And I'm studying uh, political science and history. Mm -hmm. yeah. What brought you here to America? Uh, it was, uh, we wanted to do an internship. And as my brother lives here in Atlanta, it was a good opportunity to combine that. So, yeah. Well, I've never been to America, mm -hmm. so it's my first time here. And we had the, the big opportunity to live at his brother's house, which is just, mm -hmm. is just great. Mm -hmm. and, and what were your, what are your impressions here? Um, is it what, is America what you expected when you, you know, you've seen well, what, on TV? what you see on TV is mostly big things, big cars, mm -hmm. um, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, it's all those huge things. And when I arrived here at the airport, uh, we got, uh, a taxi mm -hmm. and drove to his brother's house and on the interstate the cars they were just so big I think I never saw so many big cars in my life before that's so different. that's impressive that's different from Germany yeah um, what about you Constantine what were your first impressions when you landed I mean uh, it was first the real hot weather because in Germany it's so much colder especially especially in the north mm -hmm. And it was like you, you come out of the um, airport with the air conditioning on and you come out and it's like a blow. And that was pretty interesting mm -hmm. and uh, f a bit, bit hard for the, for the body mm -hmm. if you're not used to it. And, um, yeah. I'm interested to hear more about what you expected uh, when you, you know, you've obviously been here before, but Giovanna, what did you expect before you came and how has it been different? I heard about those um, huge shopping centers mm -hmm. and then the first day we were walking around, walking, not driving by car or taking our bikes, and uh, we walked to Kroger and it was amazing how much they offer. Really? So, um, yeah, that's one point. And the other point is, um, what I did not expect are the people. They are very friendly and they, I mean, if you go into a shop, they say, hello, how are you? Mm -hmm. How can we help you? In Germany, you maybe get hi, mm -hmm. and that's it. If you're lucky. <laughs> did you find that refreshing? Did you, yeah. did you like that or did you think it was kind of weird? It, it was uh, confusing mm -hmm. because I didn't, uh, I wasn't expecting that. Mm -hmm. And I liked it and I still like it. Mm -hmm. I think it's nice. Did you feel like Atlanta, did the Atlanta feel like a really big city like Berlin or something to you or did it feel more like a, a smaller town? No. Uh, you know? Like a big city, I definitely. It was even bigger for me than Berlin because, um, I mean, even the streets, they are broader. Mm -hmm. and but on the other hand, it's like you, you, you dr drive to one town center to another mm -hmm. and you have you, sometimes like here in Decatur, you feel like it's a little town. Mm -hmm. It's more like it would be a little town on the outside of a big German town. Mm -hmm. It's different. It's, but if you, if you think about Atlanta, it's really big mm -hmm. because it stretches so far. Mm -hmm. It depends on where you are in Atlanta. Yeah. If you're really in the center, you feel like it's a metropolitan city. Mm -hmm. And if you go further out, it's, you have to something different. Mm -hmm. so what are some other differences as far as um, how you were able to get from place to place. What are, what are some of the transportation experiences and problems that you had here in Atlanta? We had huge problems uh, because in G Germany we are used to going and riding the bus or riding the train. Mm -hmm. We don't have cars as we are students because it's too expensive to have a car. And so we always use the bus or the bicycle and it's they're just normal and they are cheap and they are f especially fast it's mm -hmm. they are always a bus where you can hop on and mm -hmm. it's 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 easy and we lived in this townhouse community and i mean getting from there with bicycle is pretty is pretty tough because you don't have pathways for mm -hmm. bicycles mostly and a bus always comes like it wants to 
so you don't have a regular schedule, which, which is in Germany pretty different. Yeah. I mean, there are just not so many people who um, take the bus. So um, Atlanta as a city doesn't have really to regard those few people who take mm -hmm. the bus because most, pe most people possess a car. Mm -hmm. And you, you, you really can tell that by trying to use certain routes. I mean, the, the metro um, is pretty good. Um, it's two metros and they are driving, I think, about every 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So that's no problem. The problem is um, getting more like in circles around the yeah. cross, which is the metro. Mm -hmm. Getting to the metro station. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And bicycles is even hard because, it's, because it stretches so far. So you can ride your bicycle, but getting even to downtown takes a lot of time. And uh, with the big cars next to you, uh, it's it's really different just in Germany because I I think that it's, it's a whole culture that started to be different. Mm -hmm. If you have to be somewhere on time um, in Germany, you really can rely on buses. Mm -hmm. uh, here we didn't had the ex experience. Yeah. We tried to be um, at some place about 12 and we were there at 3 o'clock. <laughs> that was the worst case scenario, yeah. but in some cases when you are lucky you can have catch the bus in five minutes. So, What, was your, what are you planning for uh, the rest of your time here? In the, you know, uh, what was your most memorable experience so far and what, what else are you planning? We want to go to Savannah and Charleston. Mm -hmm. Today? Yes. <laughs> to, uh, yeah, today, because I think um, both studying history, it's pretty mm -hmm. interesting for us to go there and be in historic cities. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know the most memorable. Well, I think what I liked is oh, we uh, were driving around by bike and I think we learned a lot about um, the different um, way of housings. Mm -hmm. how the pe people live and the different neighborhoods and rich and poor and how mm -hmm. it's different and I think that's in general something I really like. Mm -hmm. I mean it's not always something happy but I, mm -hmm. I, I think it's a good um, impression. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you, um, so you're going to Savannah and Charleston, do you plan to come back and go to other US cities and have you, have you been to other big US cities? No, but if I next time come to America, I think I would probably um, like to see New York. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been to Indiana and Chicago, but that's a long, long time ago, so I don't have so many, mm -hmm. so many, uh, so many left of that, so much left of it. Do you, um, would you recommend um, an internship to people studying in, in any field just to come to not maybe not even America but other countries to broaden your perspective yeah, yeah. I mean the business loving is here very different um, every bus businessman we met they directly gave us his tr his um, card mm -hmm. so um, I think yeah that's um, they the people are much more um, positive or um, they, they, they love service. Yeah. They always try to. They're more open yeah. for new people, I think. And I think even if you go in other countries, it's it's just important to get if you're studying it to get those many express uh, experiences mm -hmm. as you can get and impressions of different cultures, so you can later on use them to for your own benefit. Mm -hmm. And I think America was for us a good experience. Mm 